in March of 1991, my wife and I, we were pregnant with our first daughter and we joined Zoe Christian Fellowship at that time was at Cerritos. Yeah. And we met at the Cerritos uh, High School. And my wife and I, we just loved God. We loved our new church. And we just got involved and just plugged in. Yeah. And the Lord allowed us to do many things. One of the first things that I did was I attended, uh, we attended a uh, home prayer and Bible fellowship. And uh, under the ministry of Minister Shira, I was really discipled in Bible study and teaching Bible study. I was her assistant. And if anybody probably mentioned my name before pastor, it was probably Minister Shira who did that and then gave me opportunity to teach in these small settings the word of God. Um, and as my relationship grew and I attended church here with our family, amen. And at that time, we had two services as, as well. And the Lord just began to do wonderful things, um, just in teaching the Word of God and, and sitting before Bishop uh, Ed and First Lady Vanessa and the leadership teams here. I just began to expand and grow yeah. just naturally in a very organic sense. Mm -hmm. I wasn't, oh, pastor, let me do this or do that. We just came to prayer. We, we, we came to Bible study. We brought our children. We gave and we served. And the Lord honored that and blessed. Bishop says, you know, I see the hand of God on you, but you have to see it. And I appreciated that because he's absolutely right. You have to see it. You have to receive it. And um, Bishop allowed us so many opportunities in, in serving on the board and learning about discipleship and learning about small groups and all this exposure and all this training. I was able to travel with Bishop and get exposed to a dynamic of leadership and godly principles by watching and observing this. And I want to tell you, you have a great Bishop and First Lady. You have a great leadership team that's here. Many of the people have been here for two services, just serving. That's the spirit here at Zoe. This is a wonderful place. Yeah. If there's anybody here and you're not a member, you're thinking about, oh, should I make this my home? Absolutely, you should make this your home. It's a great place for you and your entire family to be a worshiper of the living God. Don't you know that sometimes in life, you come across these circumstances, and it's like that. It hits you kind of sudden. And you don't really know like what to do or how to respond. And that's why it's so important to have a strong foundation and have your hope in Christ so that he can give you grace, mercy, and peace in all situations. Yes, yes. I tell you, I wanted to get back to this lovely lady. I wanted to get back, but at that time I didn't know how. But as I was going up and the closer I would get to the surface, the more I was reassured. The more that confidence in faith was kicking in. Do you understand? Don't allow life circumstances to derail you from your hope in Christ and from walking in the grace, the peace, and the mercy of God. Do you understand? Don't forget your training. Don't stop coming to church. Don't stop serving God. Don't stop giving. Why? Something is going to present itself to you where all the things you're being taught discipled in and the things that you have absorbed in your spirit is going to need to manifest yes. amen yes. so God is so good so don't allow yourself to be derailed you might do like I did and you might not be fully aware that Christ is present and you might feel like it's only your natural abilities and, and resources and thinking at work. But Christ is your hope. Yes, yes, yes. Christ is your hope. Yes, my, my friend, my partner, you know, had I went looking for them and not remembering that I had air supply and couldn't find them or catch up with them, I could have been lost in the sea chasing turtles on my honeymoon. Do you understand? But when your hope is in Christ, he will make ways. Yes. He will create pathways for you. He will create opportunities for you. The scripture says he will open doors that no other man can open and he will close doors yes. for you. Do you understand? So God is so good.